With more details on the U.S. military's plans to expand the fight in Iraq and Syria, we're joined by The Wall Street Journal's Julian Barnes. Julian, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Tanya. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. Julian, what is the latest we're hearing from General Martin Dempsey, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? General Dempsey was on uh, Capitol Hill today along with uh, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel. They, you know, laid out a, a plan for a, a long, sustained effort in Iraq and, and Syria, and one that won't look uh, like the shock and awe strikes that opened the uh, last Iraq war. Um, but they cautioned that for now, they uh, wanted the advisors on the ground to stay away from the the front lines, but uh, General Dempsey left the uh, door open uh, for a change. So first off, who in the U.S. military is suggesting the use of advisors on the ground to help fight back militant groups? Uh, General Dempsey said today that U.S. Central Command, General Lloyd Austin, who uh, leads that uh, command, had suggested that advisors move to the front lines for the operations to retake Mosul Dam a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. General Dempsey said he, um, working with General Austin, came up with an alternative plan. Now, some defense officials have said privately they want to see uh, advisors closer to the front lines, not doing the actual combat, but out there with the troops uh, advising as the Iraqis try to retake territory. General Dempsey said he was opposed to that for now, mm -hmm. um, but left open the possibility of a change. And what might change, like you said, he left it open, what might change his recommendation? Yeah, he gave the example of trying to retake the city of Mosul, Iraq's second largest city. That would be a very complex operation when the Iraqis decide to take that on. And he said that might require uh, more hands-on U.S. advising. Now, moving a little closer to home, is there any intelligence of any plots against the U.S. homeland? You know, Secretary Hagel said today there was not, uh, the intelligence community does not have a, a direct plot uh, against the U.S., but, but they said, he made very clear that the Islamic State militants are intent on t attacking the U.S. Uh, interest and Europe. He, uh, he said, uh, talked about the foreign fighters that had come to Syria, talked about the, the safe haven that had developed there and, and said, you know, this group is taking up the mantle of uh, Osama bin Laden and his goals to attack the United States. Absolutely. And the Obama administration has made a point of scaling down the size of U.S. troops overseas, particular, particularly in Iraq. But how have these latest developments from ISIS changed the strategy of the U.S. presence in Iraq and Syria? Well, they certainly have gotten the United States focused foursquare back on the Middle East. Uh, you know, this is a main line of effort. There's no doubt about that. But the Obama administration has said uh, that it is sticking to its uh, policy of no U.S. troops on the ground. They want to see the Iraqis retake this territory or maybe some Arab co coalition partners put in their own forces to advise the Iraqis. All right. Thank you so much, Julian, for that.